to go to these websites and read everything about volunteer program here in Germany. There's an organization that they're going to pay everything for you and there's an organization that they're just going to pay half of the cost of you coming here to Germany and volunteering. So make sure that you do your research. <music> Everybody, how are you doing? My name is Ayana and welcome to my YouTube channel. First of all, I can't believe we are already at 300 subscribers. Oh my God, our little family is finally growing. I just want to say thank you to everybody who is supporting this channel by watching, by subscribing, by liking my videos and also by commenting. I appreciate you guys very much. If you're watching this video and you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe and then comment the word new sub so that I can thank you personally. In this video, I want to share with you guys important websites that you can use to apply for a volunteer program in Germany. So this video is a continuation of my other video, how to apply for a volunteer program in Germany. So if you haven't watched it, go and watch it. I'm going to put a link here up and also I'm going to put a link in my description box. In that video, I've explained everything about volunteering in Germany, the requirements that you need to have, the salary, and also the places where you are likely to go and work. So please go and check it out and then come back so that we can continue with this video. At the end of this video, I'm going to share with you guys important tips that you need to know before applying for a volunteer program in Germany and also before using these websites that I'm going to share with you. So watch the video until the end in order to know these tips. The first organization that you can use to apply for a volunteer program here in Germany is called Caritas. Caritas is a church-based organization that works with different kind of volunteers from different parts of the world. So if you get a chance to come to Germany through Caritas, you're likely to work with old people, young people, children, disabled people, and maybe refugees. And also you can work in different kind of places through that organization. So right now I'm going to share with you guys the name of the website and how to use the website. The first thing that you're going to do is to type in the name of the website and that's the name of the website and then after that you're going to type in the word English because most of the time these websites are written in German and if your German is not that good it's going to be difficult for you to understand it. So that's the name of the website there down below and then you're going to click it and this is how the website looks like. So there are there's a lot of options that you can read and know everything about characters. And there's also an option of people who are 27 years old and above. So after that, you're going to click the word job search. And the first thing that you're going to see is the map of German and the available places that you can volunteer. So you can click any place that you want and then you can choose a place that you want to volunteer. So after that, you're going to go to the word written their filter and there you can choose the month when you want to start your volunteer program here in germany so there's a lot of options there is april there is may there's july so for me i'm going to choose august and then after that you're going to choose a place where you want to volunteer as you can see there there's a lot of options of where you can volunteer like there it's written a place for blind people and there down it's written a place for children and young people a place for old people yeah there also is a place for old people and there down it's a home for people who are disabled so you can also volunteer in those places i volunteered in a home for disabled people and i had a lot of fun to be honest so those are the options. You can volunteer in different kinds of places. You can see there there's school. You can see there there's target play. Target play is like a kindergarten for old people. There's different kind of options. So I will choose one, a home for people who are disabled. And then after that, it's going to give you the result of all those places. Actually, my internet is not working that well. That's why you don't see a lot of places. But those are, are places where you can volunteer. And also there down you can see the address of those places and then after that you're going to press that yet the verben. So you're going to click that that link and then it's going to take you to a online online form. So this is an online form where you can fill in all the information that they want 
as you can see there there's a lot of things that they need and then they are down below you're going to upload your cv Leben's love that means cv so you're going to upload your cv and then after that you're going to click the word absent so there down there's a word absent so if at any point you have difficulties and you don't understand or maybe there's some things that they need and you don't have you can go to the contact section the app and there you can find the person who you can talk to so that's the name of the person and there down it's their email so you can write to them and tell them what's your problem what's what are you facing and things like that and they can help you they usually answer like they usually answer all the time so don't be scared to write them and also you can write them in english you don't have to write them in german you can write them in english and they are going to answer you because they are trained to work with different kind of volunteers from different parts of the world so that's how to apply with caritas and i hope you're going to get a chance to volunteer with them the second organization that you can use to apply for a volunteer program here in Germany is Diakoni. Diakoni is also a church-based organization. So in order to apply for a volunteer program, just write the word Diakoni volunteer year 2022 Germany or 2023 Germany. It just depends when you want to start. And then after that, you're going to click the first website that you see. So after that, that's how the website looks like. And here you can read everything about volunteering here in Germany through Diakoni. And there's a lot of things, like you can, there's a lot of options you can read. And also you can translate this page into English by clicking the UK flag. And after that, you can see there there's an option of for people who are 27 years old and above and also for international so i'm going to click international and that's how it looks like and then after that i'm going to click the word more so that i can know more about this international program so that's how it looks like and that's the information so always read 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 so that you can know what you're dealing with so that's how it looks like and then after that you're going to click the word Bewerben. So they're up with the red color, that's Bewerben. And uh, it will take you to a page where you can apply for that program. So there up, there's an option for FSJ and BFD. And you can click the online formula. There down, it's written online formula. You can click it and you can fill in your information it's very easy it's not difficult just normal kind of information where you live your age your studies why you want to volunteer with the economy and then after that you're going to click absending so for the next option is for collocation to be honest i don't know what that is so i'm not going to lie you guys I really don't know how it is but if anybody knows about this program you can comment down below so that we can all learn about it so the third option is for people who are 27 years old and above so there you can click also the online form and fill in all of your information and as I said before it's not difficult at all it's just normal kind of information and then after that you're going to click the word send so after that you can see there there's an option for international people so these are people who don't live in germany and for my african people this is for you so there are down there's all information about this and uh, here down for international people they say that you have you need to have a partner organization so you need to have somebody who can who works with Diakonie here in Germany, who is based in your country, that can bring you here in Germany. And if you don't know anything about that, you can just send them an email, this Diakonie people, you can send them an email and tell them that you know you are in, maybe you're in Ghana, you're in Kenya, you're in Tanzania, or maybe you are in Somalia, and you want to come and volunteer here in Germany, which are the partner programs that you work with in my country so they are going to give you the information of the partner the partner organizations that they work with so it's not difficult at all you can just go to their contact section and then you're going to you're going to write them an email asking them which 
organization do they work with in your country? So that's all about applying through the Akoni. Another website that you can use to apply for a volunteer program here in Germany is called Dynia Organization. This is a website where you can find different kinds of, of institutions that need volunteers here in Germany. And when you click the name of the website, this is how the website looks like. And there you can read everything about volunteer here in Germany. And then after that, you're going to go down. And there you're going to see the map of Germany and all the available places where you can volunteer here in Germany. So after that, you're going to click the app for Dienst 2022. And then after that, it's going to take you to a place where you'll see everything about volunteering here in Germany and all the programs that are available. And also you're going to see the places where you can work as there you can see like you can work in um, kindergarten or maybe kinder betrothing, that means like taking care of children or maybe working in a school. And also you can work with children and young people. And another thing that I find it's very interesting is that you can work in media or sports or culture, which I think it's very cool. So after that, you're going to choose by clicking the boxes and you can choose many places as you want. And then after that, you're going to go down a little bit and you're going to choose uh, the city or the town that you want to work. So right now I'm going to write Berlin. And then after that, you're going to choose the time that you want to work. Which year do you want to start your volunteer program? So after that, you're going to click the word search. And it's going to give you the result of the places that are available for you to volunteer. As you can see there in Berlin, there is like four or six places where you can volunteer. And you can check them out, all of them. You can check them out and apply to them. You don't have to choose only one place. You can choose more than one place. So for me, I'm going to choose this place here, Samaritan Pass. And after that, this is how their page looks like. And there up, you're going to see the information about this organization. And you're going to also see the the things that you're going to do, like the work that you're going to do, like your duties. You're going to see your duties and after that you're going to see what they are going to give you like what is available for you when you work with them like you can see there that you can get an insurance you can get money for your bus tickets you can get 29 days of vacation you also have a chance to go to different kind of seminars and different kind of things so you can read everything there and know that and know about this organization and what they are willing to give you. And then after that, you're going to go to the contact section. As this website, you see it's different from other websites. There is no an online form. Here you just click to the information straight away. Yet contact auf nehmen. And then after that, you're going to write your name, your email address. And you're going to write your message that you're interested in that organization and you want to volunteer with them. Also, you have to give out your information about yourself. And also, you have to write why you want to volunteer with them. That's going to boost you up a little bit. So after that, you're going to send it. For me, it denied because I didn't fill in anything. After that, also, you can click their website. And that's how their website looks like. And as you can see here, they work with different kind of people, different kind of projects. So it's very interesting. You can go and check them out. So if you're stuck at any point, you can just go to their email address there down and write to them and tell them what you need to know. Or maybe if you're stuck at any point, you can just tell them your problem and they're going to help you. The next website that you can use to apply for a volunteer program here in Germany is called EOS. And this is an organization that I got it from another Kenyan YouTuber. She used this website to come to Germany from Kenya. So I thought it would be nice for you guys also to know it. Shout out to her. So you can just go to this website and that's the name of the website. Actually, it's a little bit difficult to say. So that's the name of the website. You're going to click in the name and then after that, you're going to click 
the website. So according to that other YouTuber, she said that she, she applied through this website from her country in Kenya and she was able to come here in Germany. So that's how the website looks like. And as you can see it here, there's a lot of information about FSJ or maybe FSJ and you can read everything that you need to know. So right now I'm going to click the word there in Deine Einsatzstelle, a place where you can apply for a volunteer program. I'm going to click more. So this is, so these are the places where you can volunteer here in Germany. You can click any place that you want. There is Bayern, there is Berlin, there is Hamburg, and there is many kind of places. Like there's a lot of options for you. If you don't get one place, go to another place, and I'm sure you're going to get one. So I'm going to click that town there. And after that, it's going to show you what's available in that town. Like that's the information about the volunteer program in Baden-Württemberg. So first of all, I just want to say, sorry, guys, I cannot translate this page. To be honest, I don't know where to translate through my computer. I hope you can find a place in your computer to translate all of this. So right now you're going to click the word Bewerben. And then after that, you're going to fill in your information. So as I said before, filling in the information is very easy. You don't have to be scared at all. It's just some few information that they need. And then after that, you're going to upload your cv lebenslauf means cv and you're going to upload your motivational letter so after that also you're going to choose you're going to choose when you want to start and after that you're going to send the information to them And at any point, if you feel like you're stuck and you don't understand anything, you can contact them. You can write them a message and tell them about everything about you. And they can give you more information and more advice on how to apply for this program. They are looking for people, so they are there to help you. So don't be scared to go and uh, ask them different kind of questions. And also you can write them in English. You don't have to write them in Germany. So there's also more information about FSJ. You can read and know what, what are the things that are required. So I hope this website is going to help you. And I hope you're going to get a chance to come to Germany. So guys, if you've watched this video until this point, please comment the word FSJ so that I can know you're still with me. On to the next step, I'm going to share with you guys the tips that you need to know before applying for a volunteer program here in Germany or before using this website. The first tip that I want to share with you guys is apply in institutions or positions that are high in demand. And these places can be organizations that work with old people, organizations that work with disabled people, organization that work with kindergarten these are the places where they need a lot of people to come and volunteer and nobody is applying so if you apply in these places you are likely to get a chance to come to volunteer because they need a lot of people and nobody is applying the second tip that i want you to know is that in every website that i shared with you there is a contact or there is a person who you can talk to whenever you are stuck or whenever you need more information so don't be afraid to use those contacts use their email address right to them ask them as many questions as you want in order to get information of what you're going to do here in germany so don't be scared to use those email addresses because most of them are very friendly and they're likely to help you with every information that you need the next tip is make sure you know the german language because this is very important this organization they usually ask for a german language certificate and if you don't have one it's going to be difficult for you to get a position here in germany so i advise you to go to school and learn German language at least A2 or B1 so that you can get the idea of the language and also you can be able to apply for this position. Another important tip that I want to share with you guys is that before you apply to these organizations, make sure that you do your research. So go to these websites and read everything about volunteer program here in Germany. Read what they are willing to give you, the salary, accommodation, flight tickets, who is going to pay for what. So you need to know everything before you apply because if you come here to Germany, 
your money and you realize that there are some things that the organization are not going to pay and you, you don't have the means of paying those things, it's going to be difficult for you. So make sure that you do your research and you know which are the things that you as a person you're going to pay and which are the things that the organization is going to pay. There's an organization that they're going to pay everything for you and there's an organization that they're just going to pay half of the cost of you coming here to Germany and volunteering. So make sure that you do your research. Another important thing is that if you don't understand the German language, you can download an app called Google Translate and you can use that app to translate everything that you have seen through these websites because I've realized that many of these websites are written in German and there's a chance maybe you don't understand German or your knowledge is not that good you can use the Google app translator so that it can simplify your application process another important tip is that try try and try again there's a chance maybe you applied for the first time and then you got rejected the second time you got rejected don't give up and apply again you can also choose different kinds of organizations if you go rejected in Caritas you can try to apply in Diakoni or maybe in another organization so don't give up and continue applying so guys that's it for today thank you very much for watching this video I hope it helped you in one way or another I'm going to put all the names of the organizations that I talked about down below so go and check them out I wish you all the best bye